What's going on? Mike Newman here with Inside Natural Bodybuilding in Bloomington, Minnesota here. Just got done with the pre-judging at the 2013 IFPA Pro North American a stacked lineup here. And it's held in conjunction with the NAMBF Mr. and Miss Minnesota. It's Friday night. The pro amateur, I mean, well, the amateur girls are on stage. The pros uh, just got off the stage. Finals are coming up. So me and showbiz Liz Campshort are going to talk about what transpired here at the pre-judging. Well, Liz, what's your take on the pre-judging? Who stood out? What do you think? Uh, for the amateurs or for the pros? What Let's do you want to talk the about? Amateurs. Um, Tracy Good in the open short. I judged her last year. Uh, she won the whole show in Menominee, Wisconsin. It was not a pro qualifier. She came out on fire tonight. Yeah. She looks amazing. And I truly think we'll be really uh, fired up in that open final. Yeah, you know, I was glad to see Tracy Good on stage as well. And I was actually at that show. You were the head judge of that show. And I think she dominated that show. Uh, she got she got the overall win. That wasn't a pro qualifier, though. So she's going for a pro card tonight, this Tracy Good is. And when I seen the open short class come on stage, she's the one that stood out. She should win her class pretty easy there. But her work's cut out for her because the tall class girl, I got her name right here, Laura uh, Peathers is her name. I'm going to meet her later on the night. There was a medium class in here too, but I think the, the overall is going to go to either the tall girl or the short girl. So Tracy Good or Laura Peathers. We'll see which one. It, it, when they stay next to each other, it's a completely different show. But chances look good for Tracy Good, so we'll see what happens there. But what do you think about the tall girl uh, comparing her without being next to each other? What do you think about her? Uh, I think Laura had some amazing glutes. Yeah. The, the best glutes that I saw right. in the amateurs coming out. Right. She's got great symmetry. I think any time, though, you put a tall next to a short, you're 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 playing with genetics and usually that short girl with the symmetry plays out so we'll have to see but i think it'll be a great great overall yeah tracy's looking phenomenal and uh yeah laura might have her a little bit from the back but not quite enough to pull it off we'll see and i'll keep you guys up be sure to check out my videos on my youtube ch channel my facebook page just put it inside natural bodybuilding on facebook all my videos are going to be there i'm going to keep you guys updated all night long all weekend long with what's going on here at the ifpa pro north american and mbf mr and miss minnesota now the pro figure girls were on stage the finals are coming up but but right now, how do you think it's going to end up? Where are the judges going to have everybody placed at? Uh, this is hard for me. Um, as a judge, I, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they were looking for tonight. Yeah. Uh, what I saw in that top call out was um, not a lot of mass. I saw, uh, I saw skinnier girls than I really think an IFPA pro figure girl should represent. And so with that being said, you know, I don't think the best girls stepped up in that uh, top call out. Yeah, I, well, what I think they were doing, because they were doing it with the amateurs, too. The first call-out, I think the judges were picking out, like, the bottom five, I think. Because they had, in the second call-out was Leanne Vandenberg, Emily Reynolds, Melissa Fisher. All the girls that are, you know, supposed to be at the top of the class got called out second. So I think that's what they might have been doing. But let's assume that the second call-out was what the judges had as their top five, six, seven. Uh, what do you think about that second call-out? Well, I think if you go look at the video, and I, like I said, I'm not sure what the judges were looking for. But if you go look at that video, that top call -out out really struggled to have overall size and mass okay. to go along with symmetry and definition. Uh, I saw uh, tighter bodies in that lower yeah. class and I definitely saw some girls with mass so I don't know from a judge's perspective I've judged pros in the past and I don't think necessarily the leanest girl always needs to win because yeah. it's not always about leanness. I think it's about a total package. It is about the total package, and I think the total package in this lineup belonged to Emily Reynolds. What do you think about her? I totally agree with that. She was the one girl that stood out in that top call out from top to bottom and front to back that had matching glutes to go with her shoulder caps, to go with her leanness, to go with her symmetry. I think she's the girl that stood in the middle, and then from there, everything you know goes down. But uh, it'll be really interesting to see. I, I do think it's really hard uh, for these pros to come in and do these shows without a standard because if we're going to judge on more leanness than mass, I think that there's athletes that are going to struggle to be successful that come in with some beautiful mass that end up in a second call out because they're not um, skinnier. Okay, well you've got some experience judging. You've been around the NMBF IFPA for a long time now. What is the standard? What is the judging criteria for an IFPA pro figure girl supposed to be? Well, that's the million dollar question and, and I think that's why I'm a little, I'm a little struggling after sitting through that class. Yeah. Uh, I honestly don't know because for me I think it is someone like an Emily Reynolds, but if you take her, then, then you can look at that class at 12 and pull girls that were in that bottom call out that should have been up there in that top call out from a yeah. symmetry standpoint, from a mass standpoint. If we just play for leanness, then that just becomes a diet down game. And this okay. sport is not about dieting down. No. 
Okay, well, who else was in the class that stood out to you? I mean, you had girls like Melissa Fisher. She came in lean. Her color was a little off, but I don't think it was that off to where it's going to hurt her all that much. Uh, but she was. she's always one of the leanest in this show. You got Leanne Vandenberg, who I think I've seen her look better. She looked good from the waist up. Her thighs, I think, could have been a little bit tighter, more conditioned in the thighs. Uh, who did you think uh, belonged up there? Uh, you know, Kay Jort, I thought, oh, looked yeah. really good on stage. Yeah. Uh, I thought she presented a really nice package. And I think tonight there was one class of pros. And so you had all the tall girls with all the short girls. And I yeah. think that's really hard to judge. So Kay Jort is more of a tall girl. Emily is a shorter girl. So I think the two of them brought nice packages for their height. Yeah. Uh, but aside from Kay and Emily in that top call out, there really weren't any athletes that wowed me because you can look great from the front and turn around and really need to work on your glutes. Yeah, it is a totally different show when you turn around from the front. You know, it looks like, you know, you can put the placings one through five. When they turn around, it's a whole different show. But certainly be on the lookout for Kay Jort. Uh, she's got my attention. I interviewed her. I got a video coming toward you guys on my Facebook and YouTube channel. So check that out. She's definitely one to watch. Kay actually got a pro card at this same show last year. She's making her IFPA pro debut. She should finish in the top five somewhere as well. But like I said, first place, Emily Reynolds. Second through fifth can go a lot of different directions. Yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook page. So be on the lookout. Check out Inside Natural Bodybuilding on Facebook. Until then, bodybuilding and figure fans, this is Showbiz Liz Camp Schroeder. I'm Mike Newman. You're watching Inside Natural Bodybuilding. We're out of here. Thanks for watching.